Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This is an OpenTX video where I'm going to show you how to synchronize your SD card using Companion. Now I do have a video available if you're not going to use Companion and how to download the SD card contents and what you need to do. Um, but this is using the synchronization program within OpenTX. So let's switch over to the, uh, to the computer and I'll show you how to do this. Now, we have to make sure that we're on the correct radio. So you see I've got three radio profiles, so I'm on the Radio Master TX16S, that's cool. Now we can go to settings. Now in here, we have to have set up our SD card structure. Now you will see from here that my Radio Master TX16S is directories are set up. So let's just go out of here and go into my folders. Radios, okay. And you can see I have a folder called SD card under the TX16S. Then you can see I've got SD card current in radio. So that is the a copy, exact copy of what the SD card contents are within my radio. So if I double click that, you can see all the folders. So you need to set up something in the same order of this. So if I go back to SD card, then you can see the different releases I've got. Okay. So we're going to go back to there. So the procedure to do this would be, you have now got within here, I have all my custom sounds and all my custom images. They're already in here. So once a new card contents come up, I will download those and then I will copy them into this directory, right click, paste, and then tell it to replace them. Now, the only other thing I need to do with my SD card is because I use Amber Sounds. I would then have to go to my Amber Sounds and recopy those over and then go back. So copy those, go into my SD card. Oh, whoops a daisy, sorry. My SD card, go into the SD card and then repaste under Sounds English into here, right click paste and then paste in my amber sounds and then say replace. Now then we've done everything we need to do on my SD card. It's now ready to synchronize. Now let's go to companion. Okay, we're gonna minimize this. Now we go into companion. We need to make sure that we have set up our SD structure path under the, the radio profile here. And you can see it goes to my SD card current in radio. So you need to set that up. Um, this is my backup fo folder, which I have set up as well, but that's uh, for a different video. So we can go cancel. To synchronize our SD card contents uh, with our computer, we need to go to this icon here, sync SD card. Okay, now you can see we've got the local folder coming up where it says it's the TX16S, which I'm using for this video, and SD card current in radio. Now I need to plug my radio in to my computer and select USB storage SD. Okay, now this should be E, let me just check. Yes, it is drive E. So we need to go here to where it says radio folder and click and make sure that we get the correct radio. So it's gonna be this drive here, sorry, the E drive. There we go, make sure it's the USB E drive and select. So we've got our local folder on our radio folder. Now on the synchronization, we do, I'm just gonna leave this as default, uh, the default settings, which is both directions to destination folder first, which the destination folder would be the radio folder. Then existing files, copy only if newer and different compare content. So that's the option I'm gonna choose. So now we can click start. Let me move this up so you can see this. Now this process can take some time if there's a lot to transfer, but this, is, this radio has been synchronized already. Now what this does do is transfer your model numbers from your radio to your SD card. Now, as far as I understand, they are only the radio model numbers. Your radios are stored, you beg your pardon, your models are stored on your radio itself. And that's why we need to do a backup uh, of our radio every time we do something, just in case there's a problem. If we do a new SD card or uh, SD card contents or we, knew, we do a um, new firmware update, I would always make sure you back up your radio. I have noticed that when you delete a model from your radio 
and then you do this um, synchronization. All your, mod all your radio numbers will still be in the SD card. So you, you may say 30 models, but actually on your radio, you only have 24. Um, so it keeps those numbers, the model numbers on the SD card. If you come across a problem when, the, when you're doing this, all you need to do anyway, as long as you've got a backup of your radio, is just restore your models again. That's it. It's not, it's not a, a big deal to do that. And there we go. And you get a report at the bottom. It says the only file that it replaced was the radio bin file. Um, other than that, because I've already uh, synchronized it, synchronized the SD card. So there we go. That's the um, SD card synchronized from the computer to the radio. Thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And please share this video with your friends. And please consider becoming a patron of my YouTube. And I want to say thank you very much to the Patreons who are supporting my channel. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Bye.